Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? I will be talking like this for the no, I won't. Uh, wow, another legendary. Well, we're getting very lucky. This is another pariah. Is this a pariah pariah? What? Hated by unshelled reptiles. I'm afraid you have to die. Uh, we haven't water bonded. H Hindrance scout and pariah pariah. Listen, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry to do this, but I need the unshelled reptile rep. I'm sorry. Um, please forgive me. Please, please forgive me. He's getting away. Honestly, I was rooting for him. Uh, yeah, that's a blow to our pariah rep. We'll, we'll build it back up again. We got that sweet unshelled reptile rep. We're uh, enemies to pretty much everything on the screen. Um, and I somehow didn't shoot a Nisikari, so we're good there. Do I have Butcher turned off, I wonder? Do, 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 do. Where is Butcher? I do not know where it is. Oh, it's toggled on. Resonance Miner. I don't care about the Resonance Miner. Well, um, you know, that's kind of a downer. I, I wish I could, uh, have spared them, but I need that Unshelled Reptile rep. It's really important. So, yeah, I think we're good with Unshelled Reptiles. In fact, I, I, I think I could even stand to take off one of these, like, things, and, uh, I would still be good with Unshelled Reptiles. Let's go ahead and find out. Unshelled reptiles is at 940 with one piece of armor taken off. So there we go. We're we're getting there. Um, that was our own, one of our few woolly uh, pieces of equipment. Though I gotta say, so uh, I don't know. Uh, that's not a legendary. That is just a fungled isakari. That is another legendary Barathermite, I think. Yeah, disliked by the villagers, admired by the villagers of Shad, disliked by fish. We can make friends. We can break bread. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm keeping track of all that, by the way, I'm not. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm prioritizing. I'm just trying to get unshelled reptile rep, ooze rep, and robot rep. So far, we're good with unshelled reptiles. Um, pariah rep isn't bad. I wouldn't mind having more pariah rep. Go folk would be nice, but I've already kind of squandered that a little bit. What do you have? You have anything good? Oh, you have high capacity and woolly. Those are great. Love that. Um, you also have some bits. I'll take some bits. I'm gonna sell the scaled woolly ringmail. Oh, we don't need it anymore. We've, uh, we've moved on. Oh, we have a some kind of weird small box. I should check that out. Yeah, we've moved on from that. That is a uh, that's in the past. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna make these precision non nanon fingers. They're nice, but also I I kind of think that we could just get that again. However, it's a little bit overkill for this, so I'm just gonna do some chem cells. We're actually kind of down to our nubs for chem cells. Okay, we're good. We are good. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll auto explore this. I, if I get fungled, then I'll, uh, I'll just, you know, make our meal. I think that they, the devs have improved your character's like ability to perceive mushrooms as a danger. And so, oh God. Okay, well, I, I didn't get... I don't I don't have inchy skin, so I'm good. So they, they won't just, like, walk into a mushroom, which is quite good. Uh, like, unlike me, that will 100% just, you know, walk into a freaking mushroom. Okay, so uh, choose from a recipe, and whenever you drink fresh water... Control F Y uh, H K drink 
We're already good. We are already good. Hey, um Exotic foods. How many eaters and nectar injectors do we have? Two. And a bunch of luminous horseshrooms. Uh why don't we let's choose ingredients and we're gonna do our freeze-dried horseshroom Hulk honey skulk again. Maybe the last time. I don't think I wanna I I just don't know if it's gonna work. Whenever you eat a mushroom plus there it is! There it is. In fact, we have both versions here. Plus four strength. Whenever you eat a mushroom, you gain eight strength for 50 turns. Or plus four strength. Whenever you eat a mushroom, you gain eight agility for 50 turns. Oh, those are both really good. I'm going to go with the agility um, because the plan here is that basically uh, I eat this and then um, I eat the mushroom whenever I want to like take some crack shots and uh and then hopefully hopefully we don't like basically we're doing this at a safe distance is is the idea i can't believe we got the dream meal oh i'm so happy about that i am so happy about that I, the, you know like sometimes sometimes patience pays off you know honestly it could be said that patience always pays off depending on how patient you are however uh, i am not that patient so I'm going to conveniently take the stance of patience is a virtue in this one instance where uh, it did actually pay off. So, hey. Anyway, I'm, I'm really glad I got that recipe. That That is like, I think, one of the best recipes that I have ever made in this game. Um, we're not rooting through trash because there were hostiles on the field. This might confirm for me something. Yes, it does confirm for me. So I think right now there's a bug where if there's an enemy on the screen, your character will not auto uh, rifle through trash or scavenge, but they'll still mark it as being, having already explored it. Like they've already kind of like checked it off in their own little AI and like, oh yeah, I already visited that trash, so I'm not gonna do it again. So they won't go back even after you've eliminated all of the hostiles. Um, I am officially on an older version of CUD now because I always, like when I start a new series now, I uh, just play on a backup version of, uh, of, of, of Caves of CUD so that I never have to run into that problem of like my save game um, getting like scuppered by an update. Um, it does mean that, you know, you might, I might have to live with some bugs for longer than would be ideal, but it, it more ideal, that is still more ideal than losing my, losing my save and all of my progress and all of my time, my investment, like, you know, it, it's, it's not really even a contest. I'd rather live with a couple of bugs. Yo, we're all... We're almost at the end of the year. And next year, Caves of Cud officially comes out. Isn't that wild? That's wild to me. I know like for some that is like anxiety. <laughs> I'm not mostly, oh, we have two, two different legendaries, both pariahs. Uh, hated by the villagers of Shawar, disliked by, hated by hermits. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this get our reputation back up with pariahs um mostly talking to my my dev friends and that like they're like yeah easy for you to say you're excited spoken like a true non-dev like that's a lot of work there's a lot of work that needs to be put into uh caves of code to make it um finished for some people you know like uh, actually make it like considered a 1.0 for people working on it um and i i acknowledge that i i acknowledge that i'm speaking from a position of like the privileged gamer that just kind of enjoys the game and the the completed work and and not not as someone who works on the game because that that would be like that would be stressful i <laughs> i uh that would that would be a whole ball game. I, I don't know how I would contend with that. But hey, we just got a Schrodinger page with um, 
the merchant's guild that's a pretty good one which reminds me i should check i have a couple of book binders in the world that i should check out um i'm pretty sure i have a couple and and someone in my comments was saying that a good way of getting reputation is by checking them often because they'll they will have schrodinger pages and uh hated by baboons that's a great one wait we 100 don't mind losing that and now we're at plus 900 reputation with pariahs that's what we want to see But yeah, uh, if we can find some more Schrodinger's pages, that's a great way of, of find, getting some extra reputation. For basically free, like, there's no cost associated with uh, Schrodinger pages except for literally the cost of buying them. And of course, there's ways around that, but you know. See, please see aforementioned, uh, I, don't, I don't want to cheese the game too hard. What, uh, what kind of rep do you have? Disliked by Mysterious Strangers? I'm cool with that. We'll uh, sacrifice a little bit of Mysterious Stranger rep. Uh, share a secret with me. Share a secret with me. Share a secret with me. Cool. Actually, do you have anything that... Oh, you actually have some stuff. I kind of wish that um, when you're water bonded with them, you could like just tell them, hey, um, can you like give me your minstrels token for uh x amount of reputation because that's really all i want um yeah i'm gonna take their wine as well uh i i have sacrificed a little bit of reputation with them in order to uh pick up their minstrels token it's a nice little bit of trade goods e excuse me um wh why 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 are we on bad terms suddenly <laughs> what is happening oh are they kudzu symbiote yeah they are kudzu symbiote okay that explains it i'm leaving it got weird you guys made it weird oh no my bird friend got immolated that sucks All right, um, just waiting through the night. I wonder if there was a legendary, no, there, there wasn't. Okay, we are officially in the marshes. We are also hungry, I should eat some food. Wide brimmed hat. That was a trilby wearing uh, snapjaw. I often get, I, I catch shit sometimes for calling it a trilby. Which I think is really unfair because like for so long people were incorrectly calling a trilby a fedora and now you get made fun of for correcting what like other people were getting wrong like it wasn't a fedora you basic like unless you were actually you actually knew what you were doing you were wearing you weren't wearing a fedora you were wearing a trilby still stupid by the way like like the hat is you know, I think if you're wearing either, uh, definitely I'm asking questions about your choice of fashion, but like, you know, at, at this point, anyway, at least one point in my life, uh, I had a friend who wore a trilby and thought it was cool. And, uh, even at the time, like, I know it's so easy to say, oh, well, you know, I never thought they were, they were, they were cool. But I really didn't think they were cool. I honestly thought even at the time it was like, eh, I don't know, bud. Like, you know, we live in Canada. I think that the go-to hat is like a toque. I have a toque. I have a couple of weirdo hats. I won't, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't judge. Um, I do have some weirdo hats. I've got a, um, a couple of hats that it, that were made by local artists, actually. Which I like a lot. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll lay my cards on the table and, uh, you know, you can judge for yourself how, how, uh, how much of a hypocrite am I. Um, but I have two hats made by the same artist uh, named Karmaco, which um, I'm not going to put their link in the description because I'm not going to remember. So you're just going to have to remember it. C A C A R M I C O, and uh, I have a starry 
cap. It's kind of like a blue cap with yellow stars. And uh, they also made a mushroom cap, which was, it, it is a cap, like it's a, kind of like a baseball cap. And it has, it's red with like white spots as per like the, um, I forget the name, Anna, Amanita Muscaria mushroom. People make fun of you for knowing things. And I think that that's just like, just annoying. Like you're just annoying. Like, uh, you know, uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with knowing things. Are we still like, are we still in our high school era? Are people still like, you know, in the high school era where like, if someone displayed some kind of like quip or tip or, you know, some form of knowledge then they were a nerd and, you know, go in and cause violence to that person. I think that it's unfortunate that for some people that that is still um, like a thing that is true that, you know, knowledge is dumb. What a weird and like, never mind. It's just it's just weird. Anyway, those are the two caps I have. Uh, I also have a toque um that I, I wear because it's nice and warm but that's you know it's and it's comfy i i value comfort po possibly more than anything else when it comes to clothing which uh definitely makes me not a uh what do you call it i, I i'm i'm not a like authority on fashion because i'm not really like I, I don't wear fashion to be fashionable. I wear clothing because it's comfortable. Okay, so we've got a tortoise. Hated by apes, hated by the daughters of exile. Um, it would be kind of nice to recover some of that reputation. So I will go ahead and dispense with these lads. I'm not on good terms with tortoises and I don't really plan on being on good terms with tortoises. I was kind of getting there. I was kind of getting on good terms with tortoises. So, you know, maybe uh, a mistake. Okay, do we have anything cool? No, not really. We have a nugget, which I've already picked up. We've got some yuck wheat stem, which, eh. What do you have? Blasting skull cap, plastic for jerkin. Plastic for jerkin has some resistance to cold, right? Yeah. But we lose that DV. Not sure. I, I feel like Bethesda Seuss is going to be tricky because oh, we could use some water actually. Oh, and I still haven't I still haven't examined that small box. Uh, anyway, all all of my rambling about trilbies to say, like, you know, wear what you want. Don't let me yuck your yum, as uh, Galen would say, and others. Not me. I would never say such a thing. But yeah, uh, do do what makes you happy despite it, whether or not I, I like it, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I think. I, like, I don't matter. I, I don't even know you. Like, I, I matter so much less to you than, or I should matter less to you than like actual people and actual tangible happiness. Like, no matter how happy you think that like my content makes you, and if it does, then I'm glad if it's at any, but like, if it, it doesn't matter, like as much as, uh, you know, living life and like, you know, it's, it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. There, it, it, I can't really put it any, any other way than that. We're gonna, we're gonna look at the small box. It's a frill of the rescued leaf. And it is one of those boxes and what the heck? Negative 200 reputation with equines, birds, plus 200 with newly sentient beings, vines, winged mammals. 2% chance to behead equines on hit. On activation, this item obliterates all nearby members of a faction chosen from among those that existed during the time of the Sultanate. What the heck is this? Well, those boxes are such a weird mixed bag 
Are we going up? We are going up. I should turn off the music again. Oh, we have another bear. Hello, bear. Disliked by the order. Disliked by trolls. How's our bear rep? I mean, honestly, I don't think our troll rep is uh, salvageable. Uh, it's not awful. Honestly, I think it could be salvaged. How's our bear rep doing? We're at negative 220. So if I kill this bear, then I'm not going to be on good terms with him. Um, let's let's stay on friendly terms with bears. Share some. Uh, they like they they care about honey weeps. That's fun. I like that. Let's um also while we're at it make up some um. You don't have the required ingredient. All right, okay. We're gonna make up uh, a few of these salves and stuff just to get rid of the ingredients in our inventory. Cool. I could grab some honey. I don't want to. You're famished. Makes sense. We've been kind of riding for a little while with a fairly high encumbrance rate. Oh, is this a... Yeah, we've got ourselves a ruin here. And in our ruin, we've got some worms. And we've got a statue of whatever. Sultan uh, Diarald. Diarald. We have a Becoming Nook, and I feel like we ha could have had a second Becoming Nook, but instead we have a Becoming Nope. And we have a Matter Recompositor. What is this? Random unexplored unex space. Oh, it's a teleporter. All right, okay. Well, that's nice. I appreciate that. We can't use it ourselves, but, you know, I appreciate it. Okay, I think we're done here. Nice little ruin. Nothing too complicated. We'll wait until morning. Um, we got some slimos on this tile. Nothing too exciting. We're, we're just about, we're, you know, I keep saying this, but we are almost done with the desert. I know... I, I, I'm not going to apologize this series uh, when it comes to, like, how I safely progress. I'm, I'm going to be doing the dunes, and I know people said they were cool with me doing the dunes. Um, I know that. But I don't know if maybe they anticipated just how much we're doing the dunes. We are doing the dunes. We are doing them for a while. And we have been doing them for a while, and um, that's okay. I think that that is, you know, like, I feel like everyone's first few playthroughs of Cud relies, uh, they generally rely on killing some glowfish for uh, making up their first bit of progress. And I mean, that was true for me anyway. Um, you know, you kill a couple glowfish. I, I'm... Uh, I do it, I still do it occasionally, but now I feel like salt dunes are how you make your reputation, how you make your progress. We've got some good news here. Disliked by crabs, disliked by villagers of Alakar. We can make friends with them, but we are, they are engaged in combat. Okay, how, how about now? Okay, how about now? All right, our antelope rep is increased by a bit. I like crab rep, it sucks to lose it, but you know. It's not, we're not, you know, done. <laughs> if you look at the little mini map while I was like exp uh, auto walking, it almost looks like the game of life. If you know that like kind of old style programmed uh, where like you, you put some dots on the screen and try and get them to live as long as possible. Okay, we apparently don't care about that statue. I'm going to go ahead and eat a meal. We are inspired. I don't know what to eat. 
I guess what I should do is we should work on uh, I, I want to work on improving. Oh, you know what I want to do cook from recipe. Let's go find that recipe I made Yeah, this one and then add it to our favorites And then choose ingredients Um, Yeah, we're gonna do freeze dried horse room and uh, Where is it star apple jam? Whenever you use a salve, you're immune to fungal spores. Whenever you get itchy skin, you heal. I mean, plus 300 reputation with fungi is kind of fun. Gee. More legendary mechanimus. Uh, they're fighting with some mysterious strangers. Let's try and get in here before they die. Hated by grazing hedonists. Hated by succulents. Hated by the flock. Um... Um, grazing hedonist is actually pretty good. Well, how's our Utheripetarian flock? That sounds like a cult to me. Oh, negative 7,000. I think that's the uh, historic site that I obliterated from space. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's share a drain with them. Get some more Mechanimus rep. Grazing hedonists are not impressed with me. I don't care about succulents. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and have them join me. Because they, we know that they are going to have the goods. And they do have the goods. And then we will... I'm just going to go ahead and like let them things out I don't think there's any reason why I shouldn't have them join me probably some very good reasons honestly okay chrome tot direct to stay here hey bookbinder hello bookbinder you had a you have a Schrodinger page to what bears huh weird I'm actually, uh, I'm actually totally cool with this. I don't know why I care about bear rep. I, I only care about it, like, for now. Um, mostly I see it as a, as a kind of flat rate currency. Like, it's something that we can, um, dispense with later. Also, I kind of want to buy your books. I'll buy this book for sure. Let's see how far we can get here. I'm gonna sell some of our data disks. Precision nano fingers, for instance. Um, spray of brain is fine, but I, I just I never end up using it, so you know I'm good. Um, these are all pretty good. I don't want to lose those. Get rid of these kudzu stems. We could sell some of our freeze dried horseshoes, but I kind of don't want to. Like they're they're good. We're pretty close though. Oh, and our copper nuggets. That'll be perfect. Cool. Um, I could have sold my matter recompositor, I suppose. Now, what did I want to do? Uh, I wanted to go to our data disks and high capacity we will learn and woolly we will learn. Also, um, something I should do is preserve our exotic goods or freeze-dried horse rooms and Eater's Nectar Injector. Choose ingredients to cook with. We are going to do four drops of nectar. We're going to do this right now. Nothing happened. It's kind of a bummer, honestly. <laughs> Like, I've been getting very unlucky with this. Nothing happened still. And we'll, we'll have to wait on that last drop of nectar. Getting really unlucky with a drop of nectars. I've collected quite a lot of those. And, um... I, I, I'm just like... I've only gotten one plus one to all attributes. You know, uh, first cud world problems, I know. But, like, still... It, it kind of sucks. Up. 
we go. Discovered purple acupur. We got another becoming nook. Got some more books. Oh, we wanted to, by the way, we wanted to go to miscellaneous and become better on better terms with bears. Increased by 220. That's pretty good. We got some more books. Uh, we can't get to the Becoming Nook because it's trapped. Let us free it. Examine this. High elastic ankle tendons. These are really good, right? Oh, they're just move speed. I, I undervalue it now because I have like a ridiculous amount of move speed. Speaking of which, we probably... Oh, we don't have any mutation points. I guess I haven't leveled up at all. I've been mostly focusing on uh, reputation and not so much like leveling up. We've got a missing hex robot here. They're pariah hated by villagers of Napad, disliked by other villagers. You'd think that these guys would be pariahs to robots. I'll share a dram. That might be the last dram I share with pariahs. Do you have anything? Nope. Oh, another Mechanimist. Loved by Mechanimist, hated by the Merchant's Guild, admired by the folks of the colossal shade of Car Asher Barrio. Um... Merchant Guild kind of sucks, I won't lie. We have enough Mechanimus rep, I could sacrifice a little bit. Yeah, we have a lot of Mechanimus reputation. However, have I already water bonded? No, I haven't. All right. They are also hampered, so they must be using some kind of like, yeah, they have a rocket launcher. <laughs> um. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and shoot them. They've uh, thrown... Oh, they actually... I think they have a flamethrower. No, they have a freeze ray. Uh, then we're going to force bubble. No, first... Then we're going to temporal fugue. Then we're going to force bubble. There we go. Merchant's Guild is... It 190. That's pretty good. They're all using their, like, um, hologram bracelets. Carrying too much to move. Yeah, we got another Eater's Nectar Injector. Kind of wish I had just started using those. Like, we, we are actually at Sunken Cost Fallacy now. We, we like... If I had used all of the Eater's Nectar injectors I had gotten, even if I'd only rolled mutation points, it still would have been pretty good. Salty Bloody Chain Gun. Okay, well, we can treat those as scrap, disassemble. I am very mind blasted by this song. Get some more secrets and more. Oh, we got, we found a information about a lair. Oh, uh, mad pole. Okay, well, that's not gonna happen. Doop doop doop. We're famished. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna continue with the Eater's Nectar Injector. They, they gotta let me. They, they gotta give it to me pretty soon, right? Come on. We have three more of those still? Nothing happened. Come on! That's like seven times in a row now. Nothing happened eight times in a row. I accidentally whipped up a meal instead of using our last Eater's Nectar tonic. I might have to set up a rule for myself that if it doesn't work four times in a row, then we just start using tonics.
Because, like, at this point, it would have been worth it to just use the tonics. No question in my mind. We have another bear. We've got another bear. What kind of reputation they got. Disliked by Farmer's Guild, Children of Ammon, and Worms. Uh, I'm cool with that. Let's, let's make friends. I, I honestly can't imagine which of those, like, do I care about any of that? Favored by bears. Children of Ammon. Uh, that's the one I wouldn't mind keeping. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm good otherwise. We'll take our dread tubers. Speed running the dunes, speed running the dunes, speed running the dunes. Get some garbage. Well, I haven't gotten very lucky. I've gotten very lucky in some ways and not very lucky in other ways. We are done there. Let's go to the six day stilt and check it out for some schematics. Um, schematics drafter. Liquid cooled is a pretty good one. A uh, small sphere of negative weight is a... It's okay. I like it, but I don't love it. Slender. Slender is good. Um, all right, let's 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 take all that. Uh, I'll be dropping off our books also. Look at that. That's almost perfect to trade goods right there. Okay, um, we're good here. Let's go to our other skim drafter over here and i might check our chef as well mastered nav what's nav do again when powered and booted up this item enhances navigation not terrible i might i might grab that nothing else it really speaks to me here okay that's uh, basically it there i guess i'll check our chef real quick um, cycle gland paste. Not doing wild rice. If I'm not doing neutron flux, I'm not doing wild rice. I know someone out there is going to be annoyed that I'm not doing neutron flux. But it just doesn't make sense to me. F2. And we're going to dump off all our books. I'll keep heirlooms of cud. Ah, uh, no, we'll just dump it. Okay. Um, our chest is at 97 pounds of books. A humble, a fairly modest amount of books, to be honest. What's our Lily Heart rep with? Disliked by vines. Are we water bonded? I don't think we are. Nice. A little bit of extra rep. She likes recipes. Okay, um... It, it's nighttime, right? No, it's not nighttime. It was nighttime for a split second, so now I'm gonna have to wait for nighttime. It's just an easy way of... for me to tell, uh, what I've explored already. It, it's not a perfect system, but it is a system. We are actually at the end of our episode, so we'll save this for the next episode. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.